Hey guys, I just want to show you something I was working on here. I, I almost uh, forgot to shoot some video about this. Uh, this is an easy way to make you a vacuum pump. Get you a, a, an old window unit or something on the side of the road and pull the compressor out. Find the capacitor that's wired to it with the wire. You need to wire it up and follow the diagram if you're familiar with diagrams. And you can put you just a regular cord on it like this here. And uh, I've had this one for a while. I just put the handle on it today. I had to re-solder the uh, top. If somebody used it. It had a piece of copper line that came over like this. And somebody used it for a handle. And uh, broke the pipe. So I shortened it up and re-soldered it back on the top here and then I welded me a handle so it's not going to happen again but uh, I don't know if y'all can see that it's pretty good that's the that's the new top I put on it now this is going to be your vacuum side that comes out of the top of these things and you don't want to turn them over that's the thing about these they're full of oil and this ain't going to last forever but they work really well uh, for vacuum they pull a vacuum pretty fast this is the output tube over here on the side of the filter dryer that's the filter dryer. Anyhow, uh, so you just see the wires coming out the back of the the compressor here. And you use the diagram. You can let, find the which one of these it goes to, and you're gonna hook your hot to one of them. The neutral goes to the to the other one. Usually it's like this with the blue on the black, and the red from the the red goes to the neutral. Black goes to the blue. Usually that's how it is. And this black stays separate all by itself. Uh, it's pretty simple though. Uh, that's the general how they go, but you can use any old uh, compressor like this, or even a refrigerator compressor. These little nipples uh, that you hook up, uh, these are from the appliance store. You can find them at uh, any appliance parts place. You know, uh, they're not real expensive. Uh, but they do come in handy if you got gauges and stuff. You can get those uh, those uh, vacuum gauges at Harbor Freight, or uh, that has the the lines and everything that hooks up to these. And anyway, this is just something I've been using for a while for uh, recharging cars and stuff. It's pretty easy because I can pull the vacuum on the car in like five minutes with this thing, where it takes hours with a, a standard compressor or a vacuum pump. But I'm going to give it a coat of uh, this. My favorite paint, or favorite uh, primer, I guess you'd say, the Rust Reformer. This stuff's amazing stuff. Uh, it's a little bit pricey, but it's got a chemical in it that uh, converts that rust over into uh, like that iron three oxide. Yeah, it looks cool too. When it's done, it dries super fast. But this thing's been needed a new coat of paint in a while. It's uh, kind of dirty, rusty, being old. But it's just one of those things that I do stuff like this all the time, and I don't even think about shooting videos. And uh, I just thought about it almost after the fact. I apologize. I will try to start shooting videos a little earlier in the project. So, uh, this here I'll fix to use. I got some uh, mini split systems we're gonna put on the barn. Uh, and I need to pour a vacuum on those before I charge them. So that all the that all the be good now. Those mini split ACs are pretty awesome. You can run those on a power inverter. They don't use much uh, electricity at all. They're a pretty amazing tool to have for, uh, especially if you want to keep a, a room cool. You know, for like a roof cellar or something like that. The, uh, the barn's got uh, four inch insulation on it, so it's pretty tough. Yeah,
anyway, uh, there we go. That shit drying like, I don't know, that stuff dries super fast. Anyway, man, I just want to show you all this. Uh, I guess I should plug it in, make sure it works. Since I've been doing all this welding on it and stuff. Now I got a new uh, stand that I made for my phone. So it kind of helps a little bit. So here's a, here's my workspace right now. <laughs> Looks a little messed up. Went and got this uh, rain barrel down the road for uh, 45 bucks with the little plant band that goes around the lid. It's pretty cool. Let's make sure it works. Still got to get downspout for this building here. I got the gutter on a pretty good deal. But not the downspout. Let's see. Is it going to catch on fire or is it going to work? There it is. I don't hear that. Yep. Alright, so this is a I got back to this is the vacuum side. This is the outfit. So you can tell it's Quiet, dude. All right, Colby. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed that. Uh, I know it's not a lot, but uh, some people uh, don't have a lot of money. You can find one of these on the side of the road, you know. So maybe that helps somebody. Yeah, have a good one.